obviously I'm from the UK and uh, we live near London, but I never, it just wasn't on the radar. Stand up comedy was never on the radar. Um, so I just got, anyway, it become one of those things where I felt I was a funny type of person. My wife said, well, I wonder if there's anything you could go and see or watch. And so she uh, looked in the uh, Express magazine because there wasn't really Google or anything in those days. You know, this was a fair few years ago. So I, this was 25 odd years ago. And I went to uh, Pockets in uh, Lake Street. It's long since been demolished. And saw my first stand-up com stand comedy show. I'll put a, uh, I'll just put me sign out. First, just as mentioned that the show's on tonight because we only do one show on a Thursday, but we haven't sold out. We're, we're doing all right though. There you go. Be, be honest, I'm a pretty boring person. It is, my life is my family. Uh, as is most uh, people with some kids and the grandchild, two grandchildren now. But really, the club is is everything. I I just sort of live and breathe this business. Strangely, you would might might be an odd thing is I never ever watch stand up comedy outside of my own venue. There we go. Well, I'll shut that door so we don't let all the uh, cool air out and all the weirdos in. But it doesn't include you. Come in, Connor. So uh, yeah, and then I'm just fill the ice up, make sure that the ice is in the, you know, the thing. This here, this ice well. I just washed my hands. This ice well. So the system for the soft drinks, not the beer, the soft drinks like Coke and lemonade and that sort of thing. That works on the system where you drop the ice, you know, a few buckets of ice into that well that's made of aluminium and there's little pipes that go through it all and it comes out here and it's cold. So it's a good system, really. So I guess every, when it comes to moments in, in the history of my, my journey, com comedy, promoting clubs and whatever, it didn't take long. I think it was six months in before we started to see a bit of profit. And after six months, we were making enough. It wasn't brilliant money, but we were making enough so I didn't have to go out plastering then. So um, it was just nice to not get up at five o'clock in the morning and push mud on and working your ass off, you know, which is anyone that's, that does a trade, it's hard work. It's doing what I'm doing. It, it can be a bit of a problem, but it's not grafting, not real, real grafting that, that I'm used to. When I, uh, again, my naive, superpower came in. I signed a lease uh, with my landlord and I didn't have the money, nowhere near enough money in fact. And not only did I do that, I signed a lease. Uh, I didn't even really know what I was signing, you know, so it's a classic sort of mistake. And I had to do all that without my wife's knowledge really. I know it sounds, you know, she'd kill me really. She's a great supporter, but obviously with three kids, um, we, we've been in the business a, a fair while by then, so I knew I was, you know, knew what I was doing, but uh, yeah, she didn't want to do it. Nice ice, look at that. This is a great, this is a great machine. This is a Hoshi, Hoshiaki, I pronounce the name, but uh, really good ice. Yeah, you don't want bloody sort of, flaked ice or anything in your drinks. You want a nice size cube. There's a cube, right? And that's a nice size. It's about the biggest cube you can get um, for, a normal, for a normal machine. You know, you can't get much, much bigger than that. So there's a little hole in there. That's, yeah, I don't know, sun in there for some reason or another, but that's really a nice cube. Look at that, really nice ice, very important. I signed up thinking I've got a great record from my business prior, you know, working at the Charles and the Little Creatures. And, you know, we were okay financially and we didn't have any debt and we've got great, 
you know, I've got a fantastic credit history. I will waffle on about that in a minute. But when I signed up, though, then I marched into the bank and said I need uh, $750,000 or so sort of starting point to fit this venue out. They said, oh, no, you're, you can't do it. Um, you're not going to be able to get that money. I had a, a huge shortfall. Uh, I could put my hands on about around about four hundred thousand uh, dollars of just here and there selling stuff. It was literally more or less go and see the um, a money lender, you know what's happened. And my landlord, he said at the time, he can find, he could probably find someone to lend me the money. And I said, well, what are they, mafia, sort of joking? He said, well, you know, he didn't. <laughs> and then he, he said, listen, they're fine. Just make sure you make sure you pay them on time. <laughs> just, and I remember thinking, I was going to try and tell my wife that. She'd kill me, you know. So a lot of it was done. You know, it was, I mean, bless, I've got a great marriage, a great wife. She's absolutely lovely, very supportive. And she's such a, t a sort of tight, you know, she'll, she'll fight anyone she's not scared of anyone but um yeah it was i had to be i don't like being deceitful but that's what i had to do to, to get this over the line you know but i knew it was going to work i really really knew it was going to work when i uh, first took over when i took the venue out, well we didn't we built, built the venue i didn't take it over so when we first built it I had no experience in bars, or, so I, I had a mate help me out, but when you, you don't know how much ice you're going to go through, so we just bought a little cheap ice machine, you know, it was about 3,000, but I think we probably couldn't last more than about two minutes. Literally, that much ice we used to fill, the whole thing took 24 hours, and it had just enough ice to half fill this. I mean, we get through 10 times that amount of ice in the shift. So I was buying ice all the time, down by the, the little shop buying ice. You know, not, not only buying ice, but the rubbish ice, it's not nice, where my ice is really high-end ice. <laughs> so we've, um, so I put the ice lids on. Half an hour's time. That, um, see that water's sort of tepid warmish now, so half an hour's time, that will be nice and cold. We eventually got the money and, and, and you know, we managed it. And then two, took about two years in, and I was really in debt. But after two years, I paid off all, all debt. Um, every, every penny of debt that I owed anybody, I paid back. I literally, don't owe a solitary sixpence to another human being. I'm starting, I've had a few beers now, I've got to drive home, I've got to be careful. Must not have any more. <laughs>